Let's get it, let's get it now. So, before we get started on the next exercise, I uh, just wanna give you guys the uh, quote of the day, which is a quote I'm gonna always say, and whenever I can't think of a new one or whenever I'm just feeling, you know, a little discouraged, what the case may be. Doesn't always have to be a negative thing, but the quote is, the choices we make today will dictate the life and future we live tomorrow. Uh, this quote was said to me, I think I was like 12 years old in Bible study on the Wednesday night one day. I'll never forget it was Wednesday night because I had a football game that Thursday. But uh, when, we, when we was talking about you know, the choices we make today, it dictates the life and future we live tomorrow. We always think about the big life choices, the big, you know, buying this house, buying this car, like what city I'm gonna live in. Like those, those are choices and those are big choices, but a lot of choices that we don't make kind of impact, not kind of, it impacts 10 times more than the choices that sometimes you do make. Because, because you so lazy, <laughs> you end up making the right choice two, three years later than you should have. And you don't know the impact of it until you're in a dire need or a situation and you look back and think to yourself, dang, if I had done whatever this idea, dang, if I had taken this action two years ago when I thought of it, you know what I'm saying? Where could I be right now? And then you find yourself in this scramble mode where you try to hurry up and catch up and make up from past mistakes that you didn't get into or past mistakes or, or just, just trying to correct everything at once. And then you realize that it took you three years to F it up. And sometimes it takes you three to four years to fix all of your mess ups. And that's where a lot of discouragement comes from. And it's not just on bigger goals, it's throughout all of our decisions, man. Everything that you do and you don't do, it has a big impact. I know a few years ago it was, you know, the YOLO, you only live once. Now that's cool and all, but understand, man, even with the you only live once, you still have to be on a guided path. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your moments, live life for no regrets always, but still be on the strategical path that's gonna benefit you today, tomorrow, and the future. Because your future self is dependent on what you do today. And if you ain't giving it your all, your future will forsake you and you're gonna be real mad gonna be big upset. But anyways, enough of that, let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna do barbell shrugs. Uh, we're gonna do three for 10. I still have my wrist straps on, but it's like anything else, you know, it's like take your time, make sure you challenge yourself. Um, when I do my shoulder shrugs, the way I like to do it, I like to give a little arch in my back, so therefore my arms can kind of give more of a range of motion. So therefore, when I do my shrug, I have way more motion than just me standing straight up. So we're gonna hit this for 10. Let's go, let's go. Three more, three more. Last one. Good job, y'all. Once again, the choices you make today dictate the life feature you live tomorrow. So, make the right choice. Yo, we are back with another great workout today. First things first, we have deadlift for today. And uh, typically when we're doing deadlift, it's pretty much like 60, 65% of your, your max. But today we're going for the, the gauntlet, you know, we want to really push you, get you around that 90% of what your max is going to be. And we're going to hit it for 10 strong reps. Now. This is not a speed drill. This is not trying to bang them out. This is about giving your all each and every rep. So in between, don't try to bounce it off the ground doing deadlift. Don't try to rush it. Don't try to chew with your form. If you need an extra breath at the bottom, take your time and do it. But what we don't need to do is try to blast through it and do half reps or we cheating, not have perfect form. So we want to really slow it down Give it your all and make sure that your form is on point. So let's get it, let's get it. We're gonna do uh, three sets of 10. So once again, 
you have to tell yourself and be honest with yourself or what your max is or um, hopefully you already have it written down so you have an idea of what your max is so you're not just guessing these numbers when I say do a 60% max or do a 70, 80% max. So please know what your PR is so we can have a way to track it. But once again, we're gonna do a 10. So I have my wrist straps out today. So you'll make sure you buy a shoulder width apart. Make sure when you go down to your squat, you don't want your shoulders to be loose. You want them to be uh, tense and you want them to be completely engaged. So therefore, everything ooh, is one motion. Come back down. You want your lats still intact. You don't ever want to start when your shoulders are loose. So down, lats intact, uh, uh, lats are intact. <laughs> and then boom, power up. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Five more. Once again, if you need a break, take a deep breath, don't wait too long. Get right back into it. Two more. Last one, last one. Good job. All right, guys, so next we have dumbbell bent over rows. So if you are long armed like myself, you kind of have to have the bench a little bit more elevated because my arm is so long that the weight kind of like hits the ground. But you kind of want it a little bit flatter if you can't get there. But you know, kind of work it what you have. But once again, uh, let's get close to what your max would be. Uh, yeah, make sure you challenge yourself, but make sure you also get a really good warm up. So therefore, your arms are getting activated. <clears throat> but once again, we'll hit this for three sets of 10 today. So we are going heavy. Don't sit here and do some little light weight that you can throw around. Make sure you're challenging yourself and really pushing and give it a good hold at the top. Let's go, let's go. Two more. That's it, that's it. That was a good one. Let's get it, y'all. All right, so next one, we got reverse grip. Now this one is really gonna target the lats, but instead of doing the traditional standard, we're gonna turn our hands around and really hit the reverse to really focus on that concentration to get right into that mid back. So we're gonna go three for 10, but we're still gonna go heavy. But we're not yanking the rain around. We're still gonna get a really, really good pull and a full range of motion. Not to the point where our legs uh, don't have any more tension in them. We all gonna keep the tension within our legs, but at the bottom, make sure you give it a nice, good one second hold. We're not just letting the weight do its thing with the gravity and the cable. So you gotta make sure you take it down and take the control always and forever. Uh, if the weight does get heavy for you or a little too heavy for you and you need to put on your, uh, your wrist wraps, you definitely can. Uh, I'm pretty good on this one, but once again, so don't have your um, lats completely loose. You want to have them tight so your back is engaged. And once again, full range of motion. We got this for exactly 10. So on control, make sure you are pushing yourself, man. Two more, two more. Let's go. Let's get it, y'all. We got we to gotta grow. Springtime still coming. All right, so next exercise we got, we got, is gonna be the cable roll. Now we got this for three to 10, uh, three to 10 on this one as well. So today's entire workout is all about going heavy. So make sure you go as heavy as you can. Like I said, I'm always going to advocate these wrist straps. Um, just because you're going to be limited on the way you can pull. 
if you just have to depend on your hand grip and then you're not going to focus on the actual pull, you're going to be more focused on trying to control the weight. So I, I'm a, a big, firm believer of getting wrist straps. I think these are like, I don't know, $10, $12 off of uh, good old Amazon. But man, I've had these about two or three years and you can't tell me otherwise. I like these so much. But once again, let's get into it. We're going to go heavy this entire week. Uh, so typically, you know, we do our high weight or our pause set, but sometimes you just got to get into it. So let's get it once again. Uh, get your legs about knee bent. Give it a good stretch. Sit up and pull it to, to your abdomen. Don't rock back and forth as much as you can. Two more. Last one. Yo, that was heavy, but let's get into it. Here. All right, so let's get it, let's get it, man. So while in between you're doing your cable rows, we're going to do a super set of 10 chin-ups. So this is just, just to make sure you're tiring those less out as best as possible. So get your nice grip. Slow control, full extension throughout their entire motion. Let's go. Let's get it. 